Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I've got myself saved just before ye old laundry pool opens up midway through the quest. Yeah, I'm still wearing this mask. Midway through the quest of trying to get ourselves over to reunite the couple and well, we're not gonna reunite the couple in this time cycle. We just needed to get all the way over to here on the the third day, you know, and when it opens a second time, so that we're able to get the letter to Mama. So all the other stuff, not really all that important. Can I enter this? Nah, I guess I gotta wait until one. But yeah, the uh, um, optional stuff, like all the conversations and stuff like that, you could skip out entirely and just focus on the uh, whole jump from one area to the next trading sequences. So I really really did more than I needed to. <laughs> but I just wanted to kind of give you an understanding as to how this whole dealio works. But anyway, it's one o'clock, so I am in. How's it going? Yeah, I'm the green hat kid. All right, gotta take this to Mama. There we go. But we're actually not going to take it to Mama this time. There's actually a, a little bit something different here. You see, uh, instead of helping Kathy, this is where the branch comes into place. Like, you know, normally we would have to help Kathy at uh, 6 o'clock. But instead, we're going to go over to the post office at 6 o'clock and deliver that mail ourselves. So let's just sort of kind of get this... I went in the wrong direction again. Let's just sort of get this all set up and raring to go. And remember, don't forget your owl saving just in case of freezing along the way. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go ahead and... Wait a second, wait a second. I was on the right side. Whoops, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to go this way, not the other way, because the post office is at the top of these stairs. I'm just going to fast forward time once I get up there. Hey, bank guy, how's it going? I'm just going to fast forward time once I get up there to maximize my time potential, I guess you could say, to do things. So... Eh, Song of Double Time, yes, Night of the Final Day, yada yada yada, and da, da 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 da, here we go. And now, post office should be open, right? Right? Yeah, it's open right now. Now, what we're gonna do here is, uh, check to the, <laughs> check the postman at this point. Oh, but I want to flee! <laughs> it's not written on the schedule! <laughs> To me, the delivery schedule, it's the highest priority. So, this is the moment that you give him the letter. <laughs> this is a priority mail seal. This is the highest of priorities. I shall deliver it. And he's off. And he's off. Oh. <laughs> that was quick. Hey, 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 you, hey, you, no, 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 I, I, I wanna, I wanna speak with you, just, just a little bit, no, I guess I can't, I guess I can't, oh, that, did you see that door just, like, change its texture? <laughs> anyway, now, what we're supposed to be doing here, wow, he's actually kind of fast, uh, what we're supposed to be doing here now is following him over to where he's going to be delivering this, and that means, and that means, yeah, it's gotta go, oh, He's going to be going over to the milk bar, I do believe, so get out your mask. And this is what I mean about following the postman, the last part. Hey, how did I get ahead of him? <laughs> so let's put on that mask. And he's in, and now we're going in. <laughs> following him along until he gets that letter delivered like the pro that he is. And and here we go. Conversation. Woo! Yeah. I have a delivery for you, most mistress. <laughs> oh, oh my! It can't be. You're still here. To, to to tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. I think he knows the moon is about to fall, but let's let's not tell him. But what are you saying? Did you see the sky? It's terrible. But but oh oh my! Well, what shall we do? It's from Kathy. It's priority mail. So I'm so happy. I think something good would come in the end. So she told him. I didn't have to tell him. Thank you. You flee now. That's an order. 
Understood. And wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I just wanna, just wanna see here. Oh, no, no. Well, I guess he's going back to the post office, so I can go and uh, chat with her, I suppose, just, just for kicks. Um, at least I think I can. There we go. Uh, oh dear, you're the one searching for Kathy. How is it? Have you found them? Uh, okay, now yeah, I don't have the letter now to be able to do that. So okay, back to the post office and post haste. <laughs> uh, wait, that. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's right, that's right. You talk to him here. I have decided to flee. It is an order from the postmaster. I am now free. I can set my own schedule. I don't need this anymore. So here, I'll let you have it. Oh, it's the postman's app. Oh, oh. <laughs> Heck yeah. And that's. And he's super happy, yes! Uh, I just want to see here if he'll actually do something else, like if he goes out in the field or if, uh, like if he's going to actually do something in the field. I don't think he will, but let's just see here for kicks if he'll pop out. Uh, nah, I didn't think so. Alright, Song of Time! Because there's other stuff that we gotta do... And I'm going to do them all in this part before we go on to the end end game. Because most of the stuff is pretty quick. <laughs> Plus, you know, saving our game has a way of preventing the uh, potential of a lot of data lost. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, you can go basically to uh, any sort of post box now and put on that postman's hat. You know, this, this one right here, it's the first one on the list, but it was the last one we got. So here we are as Postman Link, and if you check any mailbox, you're doing a great job. Ka-ching! Some item other than a letter has been deposited. Ka-ching! Yeah, this will be in any mailbox that you check first. And look at that, we get a piece of heart. Oh, yeah! Nice work. Ka-ching! And you can also get rupees um, from, from the boxes as well. So that's kind of a way to get tips, I guess you could say, for your postman's duties. It's... it, it, it takes forever. <laughs> let's, let's not even bother with that. But now, um, what we want to do, as long as we're over here, get the Keaton mask. Remember these moving bushes that we said that, um, that uh, we heard is kind of messed up, like messed around with via the Keatons? <laughs> Destroy all those bushes at once, with this mask on, and oh, there he is! <laughs> it's a very, very cute, fluffy friend. How's it going? You gotta have this mask on, and cut all those. New music. <laughs> oh, well, child, if you are attempting to fool me, it is impossible! We Keatons can recognize their own by the sheen of our tails, and you don't have a tail! Oh, he didn't say that. But you're a good child. Let me put you to a test. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. Who is the leader of the Bombers Gang? Yeah, it's a quiz type thing, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can actually... I mean, there's a whole bunch of questions that you can actually get from this, but we've actually learned out of all... Well, actually, maybe we didn't... Oh, the tour, that's right it is. Yeah, we learned of all the stuff throughout the course of our adventure, so we should, in theory, be able to do this. Oh, shoot, actually, maybe not. Um... Five? Yeah! Okay, baby! <laughs> Instruments, he plays a... F well... I mean, he, he played an ocarina at one time, which is technically a, a type of flute, but he plays his own flute, so there we go. Alright, clock tower, clock town's in, that of course is the stockpot in. We got all five questions correct, this quiz is pretty easy if you've done all the other game's quests. Woo, I'm doing a dance that you can't see. Then we get a piece of hearts. Yeah, I told you this would be quick. Let's meet again, child. Hee <laughs> hee and he's gone. And that's the only use for this mask, just like... The only use for the postman's hat is to get ourselves, yeah, ye old uh, heart piece, as well as I guess some rupees. <laughs> if you want to, if you really want to get one rupee at a time, uh, I wonder if you can actually get more than just one. 
Oops, that's right, I have this mask on. I wonder if you can always... You'll always get one rupee at a time, though. I just kind of gave up on it. <laughs> it's one rupee. Let's check it again, see if we can get some... Uh-huh. Not really worth the time, probably. Because I don't, I don't think you're going to be getting silver rupees out of this. <laughs> Who would drop a silver rupee in a mailbox anywhere? Nah, I don't, I don't think it's going to give me anything more than green. Uh, but more, most importantly, the next and final mask that we only have one use for here is the couple's mask. Remember this one that we got for the whole quest thing? Yeah, it, it, it doesn't really, I mean, I don't know, really know what to make of the design of it. Maybe it's supposed to be like some sort of couple kissing or something like that, or I don't know. But basically, what it does is it, it's supposed to inspire togetherness, like friendliness, love, whatever in people, and, well, there's there's a certain, there's a certain someone in here, oh, it's open at 10 a.m., poopers. I guess I could go to the stockpot in and listen to Granny's story, but, uh, yeah, there's a certain something that you can do with that mask via the, uh, oh, come on, via the uh, mayor's place. Remember that um, side quest that I said to make note of really, 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 really massively early in the walkthrough. We can finally do that now with the couple's mask. Yes, you go through all of that just for the couple's mask to do that side quest over at the mayor that we heard all the way over at the earliest portions of the game. <laughs> Alright, so now the mayor's office is open. And I don't think I'm gonna do any cuts ahead. I did so many cuts ahead last part, my my fingers are tired from video editing, I just can't take any more. So in we go to the mayor's office where they're currently bickering. And yeah, I put that mask back on, <laughs> as you probably heard by the sound effect. Mailman did not retire at this moment in time because we reset time now. Alright, mayor's residence. Ornery guy is coming in behind us, I do believe. And here we go. So I guess we'll just do the first scene before with the mask. I mean, with the mask off. You know this, most of the town folk already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public services, sermons, and committee members like the postman. Mayor, <laughs> Mayor, and Carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Mm -hmm. You cowards, you actually believe the move will fall. The confused adults will simply cause a fair belief within this ridiculous, groundless theory. The soldiers could prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. What, those choo choos? <laughs> you want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled! Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Mm -hmm. Are you serious, Moto? It seems that giant chunk of rock above us has a caught your eye! At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists! So why is the town empty? Clearly, it is your job to ensure the carnival's operation, and that's if people are here for it! Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Hmm. Uh, if the soldiers must run, then run, Racine! A council we councilmen will stick to tradition! The carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense suit in abandoning its town. Madame Maroon would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor of the Tour? Let's not bring my wife into this. <laughs> so now he's added to the notebook. Finally, that you know, we did this before. We actually got him added to the notebook. Alright, now let's talk to him with the mask on. Ah! Oh, 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 the couple's mask. What a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? <laughs> what? What did you just say? <laughs> yes, yes, everyone. We are all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But Mr. Mayor, this will do. Whether you're stubborn and stay and, and guard your family, or if you'd prefer to run in far away and seek, seek shelter, that is for people to decide on their own. Well said, Mr. Mayor! Da -da 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 -da, exclamation points. And now everyone's gone! Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are all so stubborn. It is shameful. Here's a token of my gratitude. <gasps> it's Pizza Hut! It's number three! We almost got all the accessible ones at this moment in time. Well, I may be an unreliable mayor, but at least my family can depend on me. I want to protect my wife. Yeah, baby! Woo! Success! Got anything else to say? You take refuge, too. How about with the mask off? Okay, fine. <laughs> Alright, one more little area that I'd like to go to here, and that is back over to the Great Bay, the place of double freezing. So, 
<laughs> Hopefully we won't have too much ire in such a way now, but what I'm gonna be doing here first is going over to the spider house and having a little chat with all those skeletons that are just playing around in that house, just chattering their teeth. Okay? Okay. Whoops. Well, actually... Um, no, I'll trust the game, because I'm not going to be going... doing anything too elaborate, I guess, and hoping that the game won't decide to freeze. Did that sign just pop in out of nowhere and just, like, fall to the ground, just, like, stick in? I... I don't know. I think it did. <laughs> Mr. Sign, did, did you do that? Do you have anything to say? Oh man, you're just you're just changing the subject on me. All right, going into the spider house straight ahead. Oh god, leave her. Okay, now mind you, I'm not actually doing the spider house, spider house again because we already did that before. I just want to hear the dialogue that we missed out on via the stall childs hanging around this place, like at the tables and all sorts of stuff like that. So let's just go around the perimeter here and take a give a talk to our uh, fun-loving friends here. How's it going? Huh? Oh, uh, Captain, sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I've attained, it seems Blue should be shot sixth. Have I fulfilled my duty, sir? Yes, you have. Ah, thank you, sir. I hope this in the information has brought you to be of assistance to you, sir. As you ordered, sir, I'm finished the last of my duties. Yes, sir! <laughs> so, yeah, basically the, the stall children of this place are here to tell you the order of how to shoot those masks that I did via trial and error. Oh! Did you just jump away from me? I, I can't see you. No, I can't. Okay, which, what's the order? Green should be shot first. Yes, you have. Alrighty, so yeah, this is basically how you're supposed to learn how to defeat this puzzle. Um, as opposed to, you know, the trial and erroring giblet that I did before. And since there were six to shoot, um, you know, it's not like there isn't more skeletons and there are things to shoot or anything like that, so all we have to do now is just go over to the dining room over here and then go chat to the other ones and see if they have anything different to say. Oh, this isn't the dining room. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> That's the storage room. Dining room must have been uh, this door then. Uh, yes, sir. Please uh, tell me it's this door. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what, what's, what do you have to say about the order here? Uh, red should be shot fifth. Okay, yes you have. Uh, I wonder what, what would happen if I say no, actually. Uh, just out of curiosity. Uh, da -da -ba -da. Uh, you're gonna say green should be shot third, I guess. I'll say no. Is that so, sir? Um, I apologize, sir. I can I'll continue my investigation. Yes, sir! And he just stands there with glowing eyes, I guess. <laughs> Um, okay, let's just say yes, just just to let him rest in peace. <laughs> so I guess they're not going to be getting any funny dialogue or anything like that, it's just more about them being funny actions. Yellow should be shot fourth, yeah. And remember that I said that changes with, with each save file or whatnot, so that, that color will basically change. Uh, in the dialogue that'll say blah 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 blah, you know, instead of blue it could be yellow, it could be red, it could be green. It's, yeah, stuff like that, so... Not really any big deal or anything like that, it's just... That, that is how you're normally supposed to do that shooty, shooty puzzle up above there. Now, um... I better take this off before I uh, reorder my giblets. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna put that on there, and then I think that's all that I need, so... The other thing that I'm gonna be doing, because I completely forgot about this, due to the game freezing and whatnot, is that there is actually an, a heart piece that you can get if you were to do a battle versus the beavers once again. Yeah, I know the beavers, I know, it's bad, I know, but we've gotta do it. Just one more accessible heart piece at this moment in time, and then we can we can call it quits. <laughs> so let's go ahead and climb up the waterfall, uh, and also hope the game doesn't freeze. <laughs> going up, 
Alright, we made it. But will it freeze? I don't know. We're gonna see. Okay, we're good. Beaver Man. Beaver Man. I gotta target you if you don't mind here. Just, there we go. <laughs> gotta reset this whole sequence. I don't think uh, you have to do this four times, if I recall correctly, after you do it and get your bottle. You just need to get yourself the bottle first and then repeat this minigame somewhere along the line, if I recall correctly. And it's going to be a little bit harder in the future. See, for some reason they seem to sort of kind of remember you. That's what I was pointing out before. But, uh, we don't have an empty bottle. No, no, we, we don't have... But only if you can swim through all the rings. Okay, another two minutes. Uh, that's... A total of 20 rings, yes, yes, yes. Alright, swim through the one that's flashing, yada, yada, yada. Um, this, I think, is a, it, it is actually a repeat of the first one. It seems like it. Uh, yeah, I, I think it is. So maybe we do have to do this twice in a row. I, I suppose if I do, I will uh, cut ahead from here. Uh, okay, now just so dive down gently. There we go, victory is mine. <laughs> Alright, he did it, little brother. Yeah, he did it, big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. Da -da -da -da. This is a mess, big brother. We got a red rupee instead of a bottle. So I guess we do have to do it twice. Please let it be over. Ah, please. But it's not over. It's not over. Um, actually, what's that over... Oh yeah, the beavers hang out over there. Okay, now I remember. Remember that I said way, way, way back when I did the um, other mini game when there was supposedly a split path? And that we didn't get that split path? Well, now there's going to be the split path. He's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. And it's harder than ever before. We don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? No, I don't any have any, big brother. If you say you still want to race, though, that's fine. What will you do? I won't race, just to hear your dialogue. The way out is over there! Uh, what about you? Oh, you won't? Okay. Same dialogue. Alright, alright, alright. Yes, 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 yes. I just wanted to see if there be any sort of differences. Alright, here we go. Limit the time to 150 instead this time, so... It's gonna be a little bit tighter. Okay, a lot more tighter. We'll see. <laughs> In fact, you'll see, because I know where this path is going, and I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Going up and around. It, it looks a whole lot like the first one, though, doesn't it? But I do believe we're going to have a split coming up. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's not this one. Maybe it's the last one. Well, well, well. We have to do it anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just count this as my second mandatory showing you how to do it run. Oh geez, that's uh, I shouldn't have went through that. <laughs> but it worked out, it worked out. Let's not, let's not complain about it. We're just going to say that it's okay and we're not going to think about it. <laughs> just don't whack our faces into the flashy rings that look a lot like their flotation devices. And move on with the groove on. Um, jumping out. They even gave you a little hint to do that um, with the uh, splashy sound effect there. Alright. <clears throat> Doing this pretty flawlessly though. But I, I shouldn't speak so soon though. Do not ever lose focus on the Beaver minigame. Ever in the history of history. <laughs> That's just asking for you to restart it because you can very easily get stuck at just one ring if you whack your face into it and then it's over. <clears throat> and one little jumperoo. There we go. And I stole myself down there so I could allow myself to turn into that last one. And alright. <sighs> we did it again, little brother. He did it again, big brother. That's shameful, little brother. Now race me! What will you do? I will most certainly race. Time is the same, 150, but there are 25 rings. And a different route. <laughs> oh boy, here we go! What could very well be the hardest mini game in the game. Oh boy! 
I, I almost am glad that I forgot to do this until later because, well, it could be a pain, it could take me hours. Oh, and I didn't play the song of Double Time, I mean, the song of, uh, uh, see, there's a split path. Uh, wait, actually, no, wait, what? Maybe it's not. Maybe they don't split it during this. Interesting. I don't know. But yeah, I didn't play the, the song of Inverted Time, the slowdown time or anything like that. I'm okay with that. I, I, I have plenty of time to do these remaining quests and whatnot within this time span. It just is a big, big waste of time at this point. Oh, there, here's the split path, I think. No, it's not. Died! I don't remember where you get those splits from, then, on the map. Maybe it's just when you swim through here normally? Hmm... 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 I'm going down. <laughs> Way down, just to give myself as much- Oh, jeez, that was close. Give myself as much room as possible. But yeah, where- How did I get- Or how did I- Oh, no, 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 Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, okay. Uh, how did I get through those split paths before? I completely forgot. I did a tighter turn by just releasing the button briefly to make myself spin and move off to the side there. I thought that would save me the most time, rather than potentially floundering on a ring, especially since I already had one floundering. But I'm, I'm re still recovering pretty decently. Okay, four left. Four left, here we go, the moment of truth, 14 seconds. <laughs> oh no, oh ho, ho, shooty shoot. Oh ho, 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 jeez! <laughs> Four seconds. I gotta do these all pretty much smoothly. Oh! Ah! Yes. I hope I don't have to do as little brother first, though. Okay, good. Whew. Yep, that's that's why you don't want to get complacent on the beaver game. The beaver game it does not offer you a, a lot of time to do this. <laughs> there you go. Now we gotta do this more flawlessly than ever before. And by flawlessly, I mean absolutely flawlessly. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to take a little exploration trip through here to see if those paths will open up if I were to, like, say, go through here when I'm not in the middle of this game. Because maybe the paths block when you're in the middle of the minigame, but they're open up when you are not, like, as a way to just have fun swimming as a Zora or something like that around these parts. There really isn't anything to see around here, um, like if you just swim through here as a Zora or anything like that. That's why I never did it. I just focused on this mini game here because what you see right here is what you get. <laughs> it's just a place to explore if you don't do this mini game, I suppose. Okay, here we go, here we go. Focus, focus. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, okay, I can do that. That's okay. That's okay. I got a little bit of time regained, I guess, than I did before, you know, in a, a sorta of kind of way, but I can't mess up these remaining rings. I've just gotta go around smoothly, don't waste time. I even tried to do it all in one swoop without any sort of stoppages or anything like that here. Just please make it PK Camp. <laughs> please, please make it. Alright, go with that. Three, two. Oh boy, here we go, the moment of truth. Oh, please, camera, work with me here. <laughs> oh, I did it! I never have to do it again. He was a formidable opponent, little brother. Here, I'll just talk, eh, hey, big brother? If you give that to him, I wonder if he'll leave us alone, little brother. Yeah, I want to quit, big brother. Yeah, it's a piece of heart. They're even bigger treasure. Although you still want both treasures, and we also got that our life increased because that was the fourth one we collected this part and we were at zero when we started this part in terms of a new heart container, and now we've got another one. I'm trying to make this as much of a run in on sentence as possible. Let's hear their dialogue. <laughs> he's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. We don't have any more empty bottles, do we? No, we don't. Uh, if you say so, you still want to race? No, I just want to explore this place uh, before I do anything like that. And just, just see what the poop there is around here. Like, I wasn't able to take certain other paths before, but you can tell that there's definitely other paths. Um, like, over here. Like, can I, like, bash into this and... No, I can't. Well, how do you get through those paths? Because I'm almost positive I was able to do that before. 
Uh, I don't know, maybe I was just confusing routes or something like that. And yeah, here's where they're boarded up. Unless this is just like beaver dam detailing or something like that. But I gotta admit, it is pretty fun to swim through here as a Zorot. <laughs> so, so it is kind of a nice place to go through here. You know, providing that there aren't any rings that you gotta swim through. <laughs> It's, like, it's pretty cool seeing like the tree roots and stuff like that. You can also go above the surface at points that you wouldn't normally be above the surface and check out what's above there and stuff like that. It's not really all that much to see, as I said before, but it's just a thing of that, hey, you, you know, you can do this if you'd like to. This is the place that I would uh, zigzag through the rings, but instead I can go straight on over to the main beaver dam structure here. But alas... Alas, the beavers are not here. Instead, we get just an empty place full of regret for coming here. Literally. I mean, there isn't anything here. <laughs> I mean, you can take a look-see around here, like, if you want to explore it. Because there, this is something else to explore. This is a pretty large beaver dam, I've got to say. Above all, those are pretty large beavers. So, yeah, just like a little... You can actually do circles around here, couldn't you? Yeah, I guess you could. Look at that. So yeah, if you want to get out of here, you got to trek all the way back. Or, you know, you could just warp out of here. But in my case, I am just going to play the Song of Time. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we begin the end game. Yes, the walkthrough is almost over. Finally. Good Arceus. Oh, that feels like it's taken forever. But this is Majora's Mask, after all. Like, oh, its its name is pure tedium. <laughs>